at you. I'm going to do a uh, update video here on this uh, heater. Got it now for three months. Uh, probably I ran it every day for the winter time. Uh, probably burned about uh, 120 gallons worth of diesel through it which uh, you know for three months it's actually not that bad. Uh, and it got cold here so and uh, anyway uh, I got uh, I got some issues with it. Uh, the warranty with this company absolutely sucks. Um, I was starting to have the dreaded uh, E1 code, and I guess in the heating and cooling uh, industry, uh, that just that's a dreaded code. I guess uh, it means it could be anything. So I cleaned. Uh, cleaned everything out, uh, made sure the sensors were fine, uh, put everything back together and it will run fine for a week and then it would have issues again uh, giving me the E1, uh, clean everything out again and there it went. It was every day it was E1 and then it got to the point where it just wouldn't run at all. So. Uh, I want to say a disclaimer first. Um, I did a hack job on this, and uh, I just, uh, uh, you know, modified some stuff. So I want to put a disclaimer in there that I am not responsible for your hack job. I am not responsible for uh, what you're doing here. I'm just showing you what I did to make this thing work. Because on the end of the day, this is a great heater. Uh, I'm just sad to see that the warranty sucks um, with this company, um, but nuts nor here or there. Uh, I, I don't care. Uh, I'll just fix it and uh, I'll be on my merry way. So just wanted to let you know. So what I've done now is um, I put in a couple toggle switches. So now what I do is I turn it, the fan on. Ignition. Fuel ignition off. And now I got all the toggle switches pointing in one direction. And she's so starting to heat up. And as you can tell, she runs just fine, like a new one. I just had to, uh, you know, cut some stuff up and. Uh, I took all the wiring out. I got uh, <laughs> I got all the parts here. I mean, I took all this junk out, all the wiring that I didn't need. I ripped it all out. Um, I'll turn this thing off. <clears throat> so what I do is uh, just turn the fuel off, let the fan run it. So you know, till it cools off, and then uh, I turn the fan off. So basically same procedure as before, only I just run it manually now without a computer board or anything in there. So uh, I'll let this thing cool off for a minute, I'll turn, um, turn the video off, or the camera off, I'll open it up and I'll show you how I done the wiring. Alright, I'll be right back guys. Alright folks, let's, uh, let's get into the nitty gritty here. On the end of the day, there's only a couple wires. You got your fan wires right here. There's one here uh, for the for this one, and then there's another fan right in there. So that's this wire right here, and it don't matter how you hook it up; they only turn one way. So I've got that hooked up. Then you got your ignition wire right here uh, uh, that turns it on. So I I took those wires. You got a uh, black one, I believe, and a yellow one. And then you got a uh, set of wires here for the fuel pump and the valve. And the fuel pump and the valve, I just hooked them all together and then spliced them all in. And um, I just bought some uh, cheap uh, 
uh, switches from uh, from Advance or O'Reilly's or whatever. And uh, I hooked everything up. And then I've got my neutral wire right here. And then my, uh, uh, right here where that other wire nut is at. Hold on. Right there. That's the positive. And I just made a split. So each wire has a power going in and then the switches will work so uh, just be careful um, you know it does it is all 110 volts so just keep that in mind and uh, yeah she works great now all right give me one second I'll be right back back at you here so yeah now I got the cover uh, put back together so um, these are just on and off switches. Uh, if you can find one that you have to push, uh, I would prefer to use that on the ignition, but uh, I couldn't find one here, so I just went this way. So once again, I turn the fan on, ignition, fuel, turn ignition off. Now she's running like a champ again, just like she was new. So. All right, um, if you got any comments uh, or remarks, uh, please leave them in the comment box. And uh, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. It don't cost nothing. And we'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Peace out.